couple of your favorite R&B hits. Jams from back in the day and a little something to keep your head nodding. This, this, this is Cafe Mocha. Welcome to Cafe Mocha. I am MC Light. I'm Lonnie Love. Okay, Lonnie. I'm Angelique. <laughs> Oprah recently said that the reason the country treats Obama so badly is because he's black. Is it a black thing or is it politics as usual? Okay. Roland Martin joins us to talk about the Obamas. Crazy, Lonnie, I don't know what to do. I don't either. We've got a great show for you. Stay locked. Cafe Mocha. It's Cafe Mocha. I'm MC Light. Angelique, Lonnie Love. And on the line is our friend of the show, Mr. Roland Martin. He has a new show out on TV One. I've been checking it out every morning. It's called News One Now. And it's about time we have a black news show. It took Roland to do it, though. (laughs) Hey, Roland, how you doing? How's the show going? I am doing great. First of all, uh, it is uh, phenomenal. We're having a, a great time. Uh, we, you know, we are one month in. We launched the show on November fourth. We it's actually it's a hybrid because it's a three hour day syndicated radio show. Okay. Uh, and Lonnie, you were one of the first comedians we had. Every Wednesday we have Wild and Out Wednesday without comedians, and so that was on that was on um, uh, on uh, October fourteenth. And then the last hour is the television show that we launched that November fourth. And so I mean, it's been great. Uh, and, and and you're right. It, to have first of all a daily show that speaks to speaks to our issues, our concerns uh, from our perspective uh, is so important. Uh, and so you know we're just trying to you know let folks know it exists and build it up. So but uh, but uh, it's been great. Oprah made a comment right. saying that America has been more abusive towards Obama because he's black. Do you think she was right? We, we had tons of criticism of President. Mm-hmm. I mean, if you go back and you look at the stuff that was said about President George W. Bush, right. I mean, it was crazy and vile. But here's right. the second thing I don't think people are taking into account. You did not have social media right. being what it was. Okay, first of all, remember, go back to Clinton. Okay. I mean, you, there was a whole bunch of stuff. Remember they accused Hillary Clinton of having uh, uh, my man uh, Foster killed? Yes. Mm-hmm. And remember that? I mean, yes. it, it was a guy who was one of their lifelong friends. He was an attorney, and, and he committed suicide. And the right-wing folks were saying Hillary had him killed. Right. Ben Foster. Right. But then, then, then it was all the, all the bimbo eruptions with Clinton and who he was screwing. And then when it was confirmed with the stain in the blue dress and Monica, can you imagine Twitter right. when Bill Clinton was getting his freak off? Wow. <laughs> I, 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 so I, I, I'm just not... I'm not gonna. I'm just not one to say, "Oh yeah, it's it's just the way." The race has always been there. It's that, so all this is done is just, frankly, shine a spotlight for something something that was all always there. It's Cafe Mocha. We're on the line with Roland Martin. Cafe Mocha remembers Nelson Mandela. In every walk of life, the world thanks you for sharing Nelson Mandela with us. His struggle was your struggle. His triumph was your triumph. Your dignity and your hope found expression in his life and your freedom, your democracy is his cherished legacy. Hey, this is Sherry Shepard with my ladies, MC Light, Angelique, and Lonnie Love on Cafe Mocha Radio from a woman's perspective. Care website right now. Mm. Uh, I, I talked to you this morning. I talked to uh, one of the officials with, with the White House. Uh, my daily comes on the morning show segment, and they have reached the point where fifty thousand people can be on the site at the same time. Mm. Uh, you know, th- their deal is to be able to service some um, eight hundred thousand people in a day. Uh, I, they, they've got some of the stuff fixed. You still have a lot of the back end stuff that's there. And, and, and let me tell you something. I know people are sitting there saying, I mean, why y'all criticize the website? But I think people got, got to understand something. That this has been three and a half years in the making. You spend more than $300 million. This is the signature piece of the president's legacy. I mean, mm-hmm. this is his signature accomplishment. And so when you tout it and it don't work, you're going to face criticism. And so, I, and so I, again, people who love the president, man, y'all making too much out of this. 
But the reality is, from a political standpoint, all of that goodwill, if you will, with the Republicans shutting down the government, that stuff got wiped out because of the screw up with the website. And we just got to call it what it is. Somebody screwed up. You do not have people who are paying attention. You do not have folks who are pulling everybody to the table and say, okay, you straight, and we tested. And so when they say, well, different sectors were tested, but not all at one time. Look, I have personally launched a half a dozen websites. And guess what? What? I do a damn test. I click everything. <laughs> it's like, it's just like, it's just like, ask any pastor. My church in Houston, Brookhall Baptist Church, that, you know, we have a new facility being built. You don't open the new church until you have gone through and flushed every toilet, right. check every door handle, because you don't want to and something be messed up when it comes to the facility. Right. That's just that's just one on one, and so we just got to call it what it is. They screwed up. Hey, this is Algebra Blessed with my ladies MC Light, Angelique, and Lonnie Love on Cafe Mocha. Oh. This is Cafe Mocha. We're on the line with Roland Martin. I have one more question about the Obamacare. Um, what is the deal January 1st? Do we all have to have health care? Or do uh, we get well, fined? Well, well, first of all, you, you have a deadline. You have different deadlines. And so uh, you have the deadlines in terms of what do you need uh, by, I think, like March 31st for folks to be enrolled. And then you have various penalties that kick in. And so you have, you have, you have an enrolling period. Uh, okay. And so you have, you have all, all those different deadlines that are there. And they, they've even talked about uh, pushing back um, some of the deadlines as well. Uh, because of the delays and people not being able to get on and things along those lines, uh, and so again, you can purchase you can purchase the insurance. Um, uh, you know, January first is a so-called deadline for you to get it, and you not face a fine. Okay, but again, the administration is looking to make changes to that, and so that's what uh, that's what the uh, the deadline is. But again, that's an expectation. They're going to uh, make some changes to that, but that also was extended for a week. Okay. So again, so this whole, so this whole, you know, um, uh, you know, this whole January first deadline. So you have different, you have different uh, enrollment periods, if you will. Mm-hmm. Remember, open open enrollment for healthcare continues through March thirty first. Got it. Got it. It's rolling, so, Martin. So you have a you have a monthly date, the fifteenth of the month. You have to have to get coverage to begin on the first of the month, the following month. So it's not like, ooh, come March thirty first, you you SOL, sorry. Mm-hmm. No, you should be able to enroll. Got okay. It. We're talking to Roland Martin. RolandMartinReports.com is a website. And, of course, you can check them out 9 a.m. on TV One. News One Now, the brand new show. Thank you so much, Roland. Thank you. And around the sun, the earth now comes the day. Cafe Mocha remembers Nelson Mandela. When I think about the past, the type of things I did, I feel angry. Our emotions said... <laughs> The white minority is an enemy. We must never talk to them. But our brain said, if you don't talk to this man, your country will go up in flames. And for many years to come, this country will be engulfed in rivers of blood. So we had to reconcile that conflict. And uh, our talking to the enemy was the result of the domination of the brain of our emotions. It's Cafe Mocha. We're talking politics. We're talking Obamacare. On the way, one of Lonnie's favorite people, Earl Ofari Hutchinson of the Hutchinson Report. Yes. yes. The light mix. Keep it locked. It's Cafe Mocha. Uh. It's Cafe Mocha. I'm MC Light. Got Angelique and Lonnie Love. Yes. Yes. We are talking politics, specifically Obama, Obamacare. You know what bugs me is mm. that he keeps apologizing. How do you apologize for You are the president. Why are you apologizing for a website? Because Sasha and Malia could have fixed that website. That's oh, why. Lord. <laughs> <laughs> On the line, we have our friend of show, Earl Afari Hutchison of the Hutchison Report. Now, what's going on with Obamacare? Uh, well, first of all, how are you? 
you. Hey, bye. <laughs> and a spillover from the holidays. I love that comment. <laughs> Would you say Sa- Sasha and Malia could have picked that with you, right? <laughs> now, but wait a minute. Now, that's not fair because you remember, technology is for kids anyway. Exactly. <laughs> so, that's, uh, that's probably fighting with one hand behind the back. <laughs> what is going on with Obamacare? That's a good question. Needless to say, our good friends in the Republican Party, they seem to have um, their opinion about it, and they don't like it. They want to get rid of it. They tried mightily over the last few months, almost from day one, knock it out. But they haven't succeeded. I do think this, though. I think it's fair to say that you have millions and millions of people, at last count anywhere from 35 to 40 million people in America that either have no insurance or have almost no insurance or underinsured. So uh, the starting point is something has to be done about that. And I think the president got it right there with the the Affordable Care Act. I think where the problem comes in is, once again, the details. How do you implement it? It's a big sweeping reform program. And health care is a big one. Um, And at the same time, you have so many vested interests that want to see it fail. They like the way things are. I'm talking about many in the insurance industry, pharmaceutical industry, and of course the healthcare industry. But on the other hand, we have to balance that out with the needs of so many people. Cafe Mocha remembers Nelson Mandela. We will not likely see the likes of Nelson Mandela again. So it falls to us as best we can to for the example that he set to make decisions guided not by hate, but by love. Never discount the difference that one person can make to strive for a future that is worthy of his sacrifice. For now, let us pause and give thanks for the fact that Nelson Mandela lived. A man who took history in his hands and bent the arc of the moral universe towards justice. May God bless his memory and keep him in peace. This is Cafe Mocha. Cafe Mocha. I am Ian Van Sant, here with my sisters, MC Light, Angelique, and Lonnie Love on Cafe Mocha. It's Cafe Mocha. We're on the line with Earl Afari Hutchison from the Hutchison Report, We're talking about Obamacare, which is really the Affordable Health Care Act. But they call it Obamacare. I think they kind of do that to irritate some people. (laughs) Mostly him. (laughs) Tell us about the state-sponsored Obamacare sites. Well, you know, the big big issue that the uh, the Republican Party and some Democrats are nervous, too, about it. The big issue is the website. Like, you know, you started out with Leah. And, you know, a lot of people have made so many jokes about that. And they've taken so many shots at it. Mm -hmm. You know, here's the problem. If you go back and look at any reform, major reform program going all the way back to FDR and Social Security, mm-hmm. Medicare with Lyndon Johnson, mm-hmm. uh, welfare reform with Bill Clinton, and now we have the Affordable Care Act, anything that's a game changer in terms of a uh, major public policy, a major public policy change, there's always going to be some problems. Right. There's always going to be some hitches. The difference is uh, two differences this time than in the past. The first difference is they turn this into a political football. They right. and the GOP. That's number one. The second thing is we now live back to Sasha and Malia. We now <laughs> live in a kids' technology era mm-hmm. where now everything, as you know, is tech, 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 tech. I mean, that wasn't the case thirty years ago. Right. So now there are going to be problems with anything that has technology involved with it. I mean, just look at your computer. I mean, does it it work 100% all the time? Right. No. I mean, that's ridiculous. Right. So so the thing about it is, that unfortunately is what the president is stuck with. So the GOP has said, look, you know, you've got all these deadlines. December 1st, okay, make it right. Mm -hmm. And you've got another deadline, by the way, in March. Make it right then. So we'll have to see over the next couple of days Hmm. if, in fact, the White House did make it right. Right. That's number first thing. But one other thing, what they're not saying is that a lot of the states have the insurance exchanges, including California. They're up and running. The websites do work. And people actually are signing up for different kinds of coverages or at least shopping coverages on the, the state insurance exchanges. So... There are many success stories out there, but we're not hearing them. Of Mm -hmm. course not. All right. Good stuff. Earl Ofari Hutchinson. It is the Hutchinson Report. How do people reach you? 
the Hutchinson Report News.com. All right. Thank you so much. We'll check in again soon. Thank you. Thank you Take so care. I'm Angelique with your Cafe Mocha Espresso. This weekend, we celebrate Nelson Mandela. My very first was a protest against apartheid. And like so many around the globe, I cannot fully imagine my own life without the example that Nelson Mandela set. Whoopi Goldberg shares her Mandela memories. This is what he said to me. He said, ah, Whoopi. <laughs> I like your movie. <laughs> You're very fun. And very strange. Uh, oh, very funny, very, very strange. strange. What a compliment. Yeah. It, for, yeah. and you it was the her. truth. Yeah. Worldwide, his life is being celebrated. For him to commit so much of his life, a good part of his youth, to what he believed in, it was really, I mean, moving. He was a man of the people. He was for the people. Fought for the people. You know, he spent a lot of time in jail being concerned about the people. He's really a man that has earned his heaven. That's your Cafe Mocha Espresso. I'm Angelique. It is Cafe Mocha. This is the light mix. Please believe it, DJ MC Light. Yours truly on the ones and twos. Rock with us for this one. Come on now. It's Cafe Mocha, light mix. your thing. I like this show because I like talking about politics. Get you, you some health care. And you do. know, the thing is most states like California, New York, they have the local mm-hmm. Obamacare right. sites that you right. can get on. I went and signed up. No problem. No traffic. No nothing. That's so, right. So you get know. you some health care. You need it. Okay? There's a reason. Something's going on, y'all. So remember that. Thank you to all our guests for calling in. And like you did your thing. Thank That's you so you. much, ladies. See you next week. Cafe Mocha. Cafe Mocha is a production of Miles Ahead Broadcasting in association with Cumulus Media Networks. Executive producer, Sheila Eldridge. Writer and producer, Angelique Perrin. For comments and more information, visit CafeMochaRadio.com.